my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today we're going to talk about how to evaluate expressions and equations that involve absolute value. So let's say we have a problem that says evaluate the absolute value of a minus 2 plus b uh, minus negative 4 for a equals negative 3 and b equals 2. Okay. So when we say evaluate, um, two important things we need to do, substitute and then simplify. So first thing I'm going to do is take the values that I've been given for a and b and substitute them into my expression. So everything else needs to be copied down exactly the same. So instead of writing a, I'm going to substitute it with negative 3, but I'm going to bring down my minus sign, bring down my 2. Plus, instead of writing b, I'm going to write 2, bring down the minus, bring down your parentheses, your minus 4, all of that. Okay. Now that you've substituted, your second step is just to simplify. So when you simplify, you just follow the order of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but you notice that there's nowhere in that order that tells you where absolute value bars go. And they actually go, I would do them first. I would do them right before I do parentheses. So treat them like parentheses. Do everything inside of them, find the absolute value bar, and find the absolute value, and then take the bars off. So do what's inside the absolute value bars. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. I haven't taken the absolute value yet, so I have to keep the bars until I do. Plus 2 minus negative 4. You want to bring it down just to be organized. Now, the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. So now I can take the bars off because I've taken the absolute value. Bring down everything else, and now I've just got addition and subtraction, and I know that I'm supposed to go left to right. So I'm doing 5 plus 2 is 7, minus negative 4. And hopefully you know that when you see a minus sign and another minus sign are negative next to each other, you can actually connect them and make a big plus sign. So that's just 7 plus 4, which means that when I evaluate that expression, I get 11. And that is how you, you evaluate expressions with absolute value bars.